Drin, how are you doing today? And so I'm back with a new palette that I just uh, picked up and I thought that we'd go ahead and get started with what I have on today. did start with the Essence Magic Filter and so I combined that with the L'Oreal True Match and the C1 and then also I added a little bit of the e.l.f. bronzing drops in the rose gold. So I went ahead and mixed all three of these to go ahead and get um, yeah, what I'm working with. And then I did go ahead and use the elf. Oh, here it is. And this is uh, the rosy glow or the light rosy uh, concealer. I think this is actually the lightest concealer that they have. And you have to be really uh, just use a little tiny bit of this because otherwise it can make you look a little bit strange. But if you're working with uh, like darker colors on your eyes, it can make if you have dark shadows it can make them look a lot darker so I like to use the concealer that has a lot of brightening when I'm doing stuff like this and uh, again this is elf uh, the light rosy and it's one of the lightest colors that they make I did go ahead and use the essence uh, make me brow and dark brown as well and then as far as the blush um, I did go ahead and get out the wet and wild or Wet and Wild. Uh, this is Barrel of Scares from their, um, let's see, that's the Nightmare Before Christmas. And so this is a combination lip and cheek. And I have it on both as my base for my cheek and also on my lip as well. And I did go ahead and put the Metagloss by Essence over the top. So that's what I ended up as far as the lip look. Again, I did use this as base for the cheek look. And I did go ahead and use the NYX Buttermelt uh, blush. This one is in Getting Butter over the top. So I had these two on as far as my blush today. And yeah, that turned out to be a really fun combination. Um, I also have on the NYX Buttermelt Bronzer in All Buttered Up. So uh, this is what I have on for my bronzer today. And uh, really good products and um, really enjoying actually all of these products. And uh, they're all available over at Ulta. And uh, the buttermilk bronzes are available all over the place. So uh, let's see, what else did I do today? Oh, um, highlighter. I use the Rare Beauty, the Mesmerize, so that's what I have on as far as my highlighter today. And let's see, as far as what I actually did for my eye look, I picked up the El Camino, um, this is by Gourmand Girls and Ladybug Glow. It was actually in the ice cream, um, and that's a box that you can get every month that has an eyeshadow palette in it. It was in it last uh, month and I wasn't part of ice cream but um, as a subscriber uh, but this is one of the reasons why I went ahead and joined ice cream because uh, last month they had the choice of this palette and another palette and um, when I saw these, I was just like, yeah, that's... Uh, so um, I joined Ice Cream, but they had already sold out of that box for... That would have been the August box. So I actually found these palettes over on the Gourmand Girls um, website. So um, if you missed out on the Ice Cream uh, box from August and you thought the palettes were really cool, they were... Um, combination or collab between Gourmand Girls and Lady Ladybug Glow and uh, really great packaging. This is just way cool. Um, I've been wanting to try something from Gourmand, or Gourmand Girls. I didn't pick up their palette last year and the Spooked palette actually I think they had two. Okay so I'm back with some swatches these shades have a lot of pigment and um, every single one of them, the lighter shades included, a um, lot of pigment, easy to go ahead and blend. The special shades worked out really well. And again, just the pigment, the fact that these are so pigmented and they blend so well, it's just a wonderful 
and the, the special shades just have a lot of glitter and fun as well. You can definitely go ahead and do a warm, a cool look and um, some other fun looks with it as well. So I just thought that, and this one, this is a gold, and this is a gold, so yeah, you definitely have some a cool, whole bunch of cool options and a warm option, maybe a couple of warm options. So yeah, really liking this palette. I think the artwork on here is amazing, and um, the pigment is just amazing. There isn't a shade that you know doesn't quite work. They all work really, really well. So uh, what I thought I'd do is to go ahead and try to transform it a little bit, uh, the eye look here. If I could maybe uh, go ahead and bump it up a little bit, and I did. And so what I uh, used was some um, sparkle and shimmers that I'm really liking that don't have a lot of base color underneath them. So you can go ahead and apply them as toppers and they really work well in that. Um, and they're from the Daylight pal Palette by Alter Ego. And I just, I really like these shimmers and sparkles because, again, they don't have a lot of base color and you can use them as a topper over a lot of stuff. And it really went ahead and glammed up this look a lot. Here's the way that it worked out. So now it's shimmery all over everywhere and it's actually a lot of fun. So there are a couple of different ways to go ahead and wear this one particular look. And um, yeah, for this time of year when you want to be spooky and different and, you know, uh, do the Halloween thing, I think that this uh, palette is going to be amazingly good for doing some of those looks. And I'm really glad that I had the chance to try um, Gourmand Gourmand. Gourmand Girls and Ladybug. Um, it's a fun palette with a really good formula. And so, yeah, for this time of year, this is definitely a great palette. And um, I think that's uh, about the video, and I hope you have a good day, and I'll see you later. Bye.